It began as most trips do, with a long flight. This flight was to rainy Hanoi. Rainy, rainy Hanoi. so we hit up the most important sites in the guidebook. Ho Chi Minh's tomb was first on our list, but we didn't go in. Then a shrine and a pond. Then we went to see the old Confucian library, which strangely contained very few books, if any. We also saw this little guy chilling by a tree. Our next stop was the old capital city of Hue. The main attraction was the old Imperial City, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Modeled after the Forbidden City in Beijing, this fortress housed the Vietnamese rulers from 1789 until the end of World War II. The structures inside the walls were largely destroyed during the French and American Wars, especially during the Tet Offensive. Only 10 of the original 160 structures still stands today the reconstruction efforts are underway. The structures that do remain are beautiful and provided my mom with plenty of ideas for future projects around the house. Mostly though, we walked. The gardens in the palace were picturesque and provided some desperately needed respite from the sun. They also gave us a chance to catch up with the inhabitants. It also rained in Hue. The next morning we woke up early to catch a bus which would take us on a whirlwind tour of the places to see between Hue and our next stop, Hoi An. We stopped at a local market where we met some bacon and saw a pretty bridge. Later, we saw a bigger bridge. At the top of High Van Pass, we explored some remnants of the American Wall. stop on the bus tour was Marble Mountain. We took an elevator to the top to see some flowers. 
and Pagoda. Along with some shrines. And some other shrines. And a sizable Buddha. day, we ended up in Hoi An. Rainy, rainy Hoi An. trap, but it's a tourist trap for the right reasons. It's gorgeous. and rainy and delicious here's our sandwiches being made at a banh mi shop recommended by anthony bourdain himself hey look it's me getting fitted for a suit yeah we all got some clothing tailored at kimmy taylor If you've never had clothing made before, I can't recommend it more. It's an absolute blast. Here's my dad looking sharp. Here's something sharp looking at my dad. Hoyan is a city of lanterns, a city of light. These things are everywhere. Look, another shrine. And now for something completely different. day together, we headed back to Da Nang for one last sightseeing visit to see a giant Buddha lady. No, really, like, giant Buddha lady.
and a smaller Lazy Buddha. And then it was time to split ways. I went to Hanoi, my parents went to Dallas. And it rained again.